Welcome back to another exciting episode of Roscoe Reviews. I am Roscoe and this is a wee wee. No, not that kind of wee wee. This is a wee wee kitchen faucet. Normally on Roscoe Reviews, I like to recommend brand name faucets like Moen's and Delta's and Kohler because these are brands that I know stick behind their faucets and that they will stand up for a lifetime. This Wee Wee faucet, however, has been so popular on Amazon. At the time I'm filming this, it has about 40,000 reviews, so I figured we better install one of these things and see how it checks out. Inside the box, you will find the instructions. It's just a single page of instructions because this is a pretty easy install. There is the plate for the three-hole setup. This is the nut and the two washers that secure the faucet to the sink. This is the weight for the sprayer that pulls the sprayer up to the faucet. And then of course the faucet itself. All the supply lines come pre-connected and the sprayer line is also pre-connected. I'm doing this install in my extremely messy laundry room so please pardon the mess. This comes with the three hole plate to block off the extra two side holes. But I'm going to be doing the single hole installation so that I can put some soap dispensers on the side of this. It is my laundry room and I wanted to have laundry soap and stuff and a little pump. So I'm just going to do the single hole. What you're going to do is feed all three of the hoses down through the center hole or whichever hole you want to put it on. Like so. There is a rubberized piece on the bottom of this so it's not necessary to silicone it but you can if you want to. Then to hold that part onto the sink underneath, you will slide all three of these rings up on the bottom. So the rubber one goes up against the bottom of the sink. Then there's a metal slip ring that goes on top of that one. And then this part has the threaded part has the threaded nut that screws on there, and it'll just do this hand tight underneath. So I've got my nut to screw up onto the bottom with the two washers. Rubber on first, then metal, and we will slide them. So it's the rubber and the metal washers on there, and then I have the piece that screws onto the faucet on next. And the threaded part is toward the top. So I'll slide them up there, tighten it on. Once you have the nut tightened onto the sink up there, you can remove this little band that's on here. A little twist tie to loosen up all the hoses. You have a hot and a cold hose. The hot is the red one, cold is the blue one. It's also labeled on here, hot. Then the black one is a sprayer and it is labeled with a piece of tape on here that says weight here or install the weight here. This is the weight piece, so it's going to be installed right there. It's nice that they label everything and tell you where to put it. So you just open the weight up and then clip it onto there. That will pull the sprayer up to the faucet. So I put my handle over here on the right side. And with that weight on there, this pulls back up into the top. It actually pulls pretty good. I was a little, bit, a little bit surprised how well that does work. Now we can install our supply lines. The cold one or the blue one typically goes in the shutoff on the right side. And the hot one or the red one typically goes in the one on the left side. If you're doing this in your kitchen and you're not sure which is which, if you have a dishwasher, the hot water side will probably have a line that runs off to the dishwasher. When you're installing these supply lines, make sure that the sprayer hose, the black one, is not tangled around these. It might prevent you from pulling the sprayer out of the faucet. These supply lines have rubber gaskets in them, so there shouldn't be a need for pipe compound or Teflon tape on these, but you can if you wish. I'm gonna get these started finger tight at first, and then I'm gonna use a wrench to go ahead and snug them up.
When you have your spy lines on there nice and tight, you can go ahead and turn the water back on. If you have shut off the, our multiple turns like these are, the nut um, back here may start to leak if the packing gets loose. If that's the case, you'll need a wrench or a pair of pliers like these to grab a hold of that nut on the back and turn it just about an eighth of a turn. Turn that nut, the packing nut that's behind the handle about an eighth of a turn and it should stop that leak. Okay, I've got my wee wee faucet all installed and all in all, it works pretty well. The, the weight is adequate to pull the sprayer back up to the top. The sprayer isn't too bad. The top button the top button stops the flow entirely. The bottom button switches over to the sprayer and back. Honestly, it works better than I thought it would. What amazes me the most is the ease of install. This faucet was super easy to install. You can do it in just a couple of minutes. What I don't like about it is that it may not last as long as some of the brand name models. Like the sprayer itself is plastic, which is a little bit worrisome. And the parts seem like they're, they're thinner than some of the brand name models. But once I have it installed, nothing leaks and it seems to work like it should. So for the price point, this is really not bad. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you back here next time.